Does Gran Turismo 7 force feedback still suck? That is a question I've had after reviewing the T300 RS a few weeks ago. It surprised me how improved it felt compared to last year. So I took all the PlayStation compatible wheels I have for testing out of storage so we could have a look. We have 5 wheels from the G923 to the TD1 and everything in between. This way we can understand better if the force feedback is improving. This shot by the way took too long to do, YouTube is just smoke and mirrors as you can see, so subscribe to the channel. This video isn't about which wheel has better force feedback, but if force feedback has improved in general in this title. Last year everything felt so dampened with no feeling at all at the wheel, so let's see how it improves and changes. A few of the wheels were tested on the desk, but this didn't make a difference in checking the quality of the force feedback. Let's start from the cheapest wheel, the G923. The force feedback felt okay, a bit muted. The steering was fast enough to be usable and the details correct enough to be precise. It felt a little on the dull side, as details I was expected and used from GT Sports aren't really there. It is useful, but a bit meh overall. I'd assume the G29 is very similar to this, except with the small vibrations of the true force. The T300 was a big jump in terms of clarity, it is the reason that I'm doing this video after all. It felt a little more dampened, but at the same time it had more force to play around. It was also a faster wheel than the Logitech. It's from this point that I would say the force feedback in Gran Turismo 7 starts to become enjoyable. The detail increases so much and finally I'm able to sense a decent force feedback coming from this title. It's the first time I'm able to see and understand the variability between suspension and car types. A softer suspension from a road car results in a more sluggish force feedback. Race cars have faster movements and effect systems. You can really feel the stronger, stiffer suspension in these cars. In the T300s, the force feedback is very, very decent. Then another jump to the DD Pro is where GT starts to become very interesting. The DD Pro is the official wheel of Gran Turismo and it provides a really interesting feeling on the wheel. It's also the first one you can really customize on the fly. It felt very strong and really precise. The differences between car types become even more apparent. Road cars feel like they are road cars. A slow reaction time that is felt through the wheel from end to end. Change to a tuned or race cars, the vibrations and surfaces details comes at you with more force, creating a more immersive feel. As we go up in torque, the DD1 and Logitech Pro, it's where Gran Turismo 7 takes for me the highest leap in fidelity. The DD1 and DD Pro were configured pretty much the same, though it just seems like the DD1 had more headroom and more of the feeling came through it. This wheel just felt more meaty, more informative, eager to turn, to grab the corners. I think it's around 8 or 9 newton meters that the force feedback takes the next step in this title. This is the same deal with the Logitech Pro. In that wheel's case, it brings true force for extra details to the wheel. It is with larger wheels that I think the force feedback is more interesting, more detail and true to life. It's not that the other wheels were bad, but it kind of feels to me that Gran Turismo 7 is scaling better with torque rather than ecosystem like it happens with PC titles. While the force feedback has definitely improved, it seems like, to me, the controls for it need to be improved. Having just a force slider is not enough in this day and age, where all of these wheels mentioned here can have a decent customized performance in the PC. Assetto Corsa, Competizione, iRacing, Project Cars and so on, you have so much more and better and deeper options that can help you unlock the potential of your wheel. So Gran Turismo 7 definitely needs something to turn down any unnecessary effects because remember all of these wheels also have software on the PC. Some of them like the Logitech and the Fanatex, you will have options to change the setup on the fly through the menus. Gran Turismo 7 force feedback improved significantly since last year at least in my opinion. There's a great deal more detail to a level I found satisfactory. Constant rubberness completely disappeared, the damper feels more believable now. This was consistent with all the wheels, but some felt better than others as expected. What I found interesting is that Gran Turismo 7's experience seemed to improve with more torque. In Gran Turismo Sport, the DD Pro and DD1 were largely the same, but here the DD1 just felt more alive for some reason. The best wheel out of the bunch was the Logitech Pro for me, True Force is gimmicky on the G923, in the larger brother 
Not really. Shame for the pedals because they do suck. In the software option I found that high values for torque provides, at least for me, a better experience. Tell me in the comments your opinions about the Gran Turismo 7 for feedback. If you want to see more GT7 content, tell me that as well and also subscribe to the channel. Also, check this Wheels Buyer's Guide video, it might be very useful for you if you're looking for your first wheel.